Who's got the best poutine in Canada? As far as fast food goes. What's up, YouTube? I am in Canada today, and I'm going to check out all the poutine. That's what we're doing today on this channel. I'm going to go to every poutine, uh, fast food poutine, and I'm going to try them all, and I'm going to rank them. I'm not going to get them, like, all together and then eat them at the same time because I want to eat them fresh. So right here, I'm on Lundy's Lane, and there's a little bit of a cluster. There's Harvey's, there's Popeye's, and there's Arby's, like all right next to each other. So as you can see, here's Harvey's across the street. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's zoomed out. Oh, that's Popeye's. And then right over there is Arby's. So these are the first three I'm going to try. First, we're gonna try Harvey's. Sorry about the wait. Go ahead with your order. Hi, I'll get a regular classic poutine. Anything else? That'll be it. 620, touch the window, please. Thank you. You're so this is uh, for my American friends, what a Canadian five looks like. Um, I remember they used to have like kids playing hockey on the back, um, but I guess they changed it to uh, the spaceman. And uh, their dollars are coins. We tried doing that in America. It didn't really take off. But yeah, these are called a loonie. And they also have a $2 coin called a toonie. The more you know. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. you too. All right, we got the poutine from Harvey's. Now we're going across the street. So I just want to show you next to Harvey's is the Flying Saucer Cafe or a Flying Saucer Restaurant. Uh, I'll review it one of these days. I've been to it like 20 years ago. It's not bad. It's nothing to write home about, but maybe I'll order something different. Going into Popeye's. They don't have a drive through Okay, the Popeye's poutine has been purchased. Um, yeah. Cajun poutine, because they have those Cajun seasoning on the fries. So, should be an interesting take on poutine. Okay, so now I'm in the Arby's parking lot, and I just wanted to say, like, so if you just look down the street, everything is on Lundy's Lane. So, that's really cool. I'm not going to have to drive all over town to go to these restaurants. After I hit this Arby's, I'm going to show the first three that I got. We're going to try them while they're still warm. Yeah, hi, can I get a poutine, please? Okay. Anything else? Um, no thanks. Grab up, please. Thanks. Okay, the Arby's has been bought. So the first poutine I'm going to try is Harvey's. Harvey's cost $5.49 for a regular. And it comes in a nifty Harvey's box. And this is a shot of what the Harvey's poutine looks like. Standard Harvey's fries. It's got gravy and the cheese curds nice and melted now because it's been sitting in the car for a few minutes. Okay, first bite of the Harvey's poutine. That's really good. The fries are still crispy. This gravy and the cheese, very good. Um, my only gripe is like, if you go to the bottom of the poutine, there's no gravy or cheese on it. It's just like fries. They should have just doused this in the gravy, but it's good. It's really good. Uh, I'm not gonna get to the bottom anyway, cause I'm gonna order a bunch of poutine. So it's not a factor here. Just something to think about if you're ever at Harvey's. Really good though, another bite.
Yeah, they're, they're gravy. Okay, I see what they did. So they kind of poured the gravy all on one side. So we got like a like a half poutine, half fries going on. But it's all good. It's all good, Harvey's. I ain't mad at you. We're gonna score the we're gonna score these zero through ten, just to keep it easier, um, to figure out which one's the best. I'm gonna give Harvey's. 8.1 their, their poutine's really good 8.1 i think is a good fair score good way good start of the the poutine wars here and i'm gonna write it right on the bag so i remember <laughs> 8.1 harvey's okay so the second one is popeyes let's check out popeyes Popeyes also comes in a box, but it's very plain box. No branding on it. Kind of a letdown. And it's got that lip you have to... Uh, it's pain in the ass. Okay, this one smells out of this world. It's got that Cajun fry seasoning going on. So I have very, very high hopes for this. All right, Popeyes gave me a foon instead of a fork. Let's give this a try. And these are all regular size, by the way, and they're really big, really big. Fries are kind of soggy. They kind of snapped in half when I try to get some cheese, gravy, and fries all in one bite. The cheese isn't really as melted. Yeah, the fries are really soggy. Um... They didn't hold up too well under the under the poutine gravy. Uh, they're still it's still good. It's very good. I just wish they had uh, crispier fries. The gravy is pretty good. The problem is the cheese. There isn't a whole lot of it, and the cheese that's in there hasn't melted. It's not bad poutine by any means, but I think I'm gonna go with Harvey's over this one. Uh, Popeyes, I'm gonna give a 7.4. 7.4 for the Popeyes poutine. And finally, I have the Arby's poutine, and look at this. It's got the curly fries from Arby's. Yeah. That should be interesting. And there we go. We have a look at the Arby's poutine. Lots of cheese. The fries look crispy. Let's give this a try. And Arby Arby's gives us a fork. And I want to show you guys, I am using the fork that they supply. No cross-contaminating poutines by using the same fork for all of them. Separate forks! Okay, Arby's, let's try your poutine. This should be interesting. Look at that curly fry. Get that get some cheese in there. Here we go. Ah, another bite. Well, I like the fact that the fries are still crispy. This gravy's kind of lacking in flavor. The cheese is good. There's a lot of cheese. Yeah, there's just not much going on with the gravy. Still really good, though. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7.2. Arby's. 7.2. On to the next one. Yeah, hi. Can I just get an order of poutine? I'm sorry? 
Uh, just the order of poutine. Poutine? Yeah. One poutine, anything else? That'll be it. Yeah. Um, some salt and pepper, yeah. Thank you. So the KFC poutine was rather expensive. It came to like $7.19. Big, big portion though. Big, big portion. Uh, comes in the uh, mashed potatoes container. Okay, but look at this. PFK, who the heck's that guy? Ah, oh, there we go, KFC. Dual languages in Canada for my American friends who don't understand, don't realize that like you have French and English over here. And there's the KFC poutine using the KFC fries. Glad they're using the fries and not the potato. I don't know if they even have potato wedges anymore. KFC also gave me a fork. Let's try the KFC poutine. Very soggy fries here. Um, like, I just got this, and the fries are already starting to sog. Very bland. Very, very bland. Not a whole lot going on. Um, as far as flavors go with this poutine, probably the worst one I've had. No, definitely the worst one I've had so far. Um, yeah, this gravy's just runny. It's the same gravy if you get the, the mashed potatoes. It's the same one, um, which I don't, I don't get mashed potatoes anyway, but I've had the KFC gravy. It's nothing to write home about. Yeah. Since KFC was the only drive through that asked if I want salt and pepper, I'm going to add salt and pepper, see if that boosts it up a little bit. Nah, now it's just salty and bland. Um, zero through 10, I'm going to give KFC a 5.8. It's just not very good. Not very good poutine. Now we're at McDonald's. Uh, that's 553. Okay, it's okay. You can bite me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Have a great night. Thanks. Tell her to bite you. <laughs> Real hard. <laughs> so McDonald's has a poutine container, which is awesome, but... They gave me a cardboard fork. I have never seen this before. It is a, a cardboard fork. Awesome. I, I appreciate McDonald's is trying to do, uh, they're trying to be environmentally friendly here, but a cardboard fork, what's that gonna accomplish? And let's unveil the McDonald's poutine. And there we go. It's the golden fries that we all know and love from McDonald's with some gravy and some cheese curds. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Okay, let's try the McDonald's poutine uh, with a cardboard fork. Let's, let's give this a try. It's all right. It's all right. 
It's all right. Um, it's not as bad as the KFC poutine, but it's it's really, I don't think it's all that good compared to the other ones. Six point one, six point one for McDonald's. It's just the gravy's really runny. The fries don't really hold up uh, for the poutine. They get really soggy really fast. Let me get more bite of the cheese. Yeah, the cheese is nothing special. Um, six point one. There's a Burger King. There's a Church's Chicken. I gotta find a Wendy's. I don't see one on Wendy's Lane. And I'm gonna find the A&W. Maybe there's a Wendy's by the A&W. I know the A&W's on another street. Go to that. Maybe there'll be a Wendy's over there. I'm not too familiar. I know there's a Wendy's on Clifton Hill. I'm trying to avoid going to Clifton Hill and de dealing with all the tourist traps. There's no place to park. I'm trying to avoid that. Out in Canada, it's called Church's Texas Chicken. I think the ones in the United States are rebranding to Texas Chicken as well. I got to admit, I'm starting to get full, but I will continue. This journey must come to an end. I, I had originally planned to, to try them throughout the day and just go do some shopping and all that. But the fact that they're all here on Lundy's Lane and they're right on top of each other meant I had to just do it all at once. I also got some biscuits at Church's Chicken. I'm gonna enjoy those later. So here's the poutine. It's their crinkle cut fries with the gravy and the cheese. I'm very excited that Church's Chicken is here in Niagara Falls, Canada, by the way, because we don't have Church's Chicken in Buffalo and they just opened this one up pretty recently. The, the, the closest Church's Chicken to me would have been I think about an hour drive, and it's not worth an hour drive, that's for sure. But I can hop right over the bridge and go to Church's Chicken, and that's that's really cool. I really like Church's Chicken, so I'm glad I have one very close. And there's a shot of the poutine at Church's. Okay, let's give this a try. Church's Chicken Poutine. Mmm. That's pretty good. Their gravy is um their gravy's really good. The fries are they're still a little crispy. Um they they are holding up a little better than other fries. The cheese is good. I'm never disappointed when I go to church's chicken. Their biscuits are awesome. I got some biscuits for later. Um, their chicken's really good. Their chicken sandwich is really good. This church's chicken had a bunch of different chicken sandwiches on the menu. I think I'm going to have to come back and try some of those. But the poutine's really good. Seven point eight. That's a that's a good poutine. It's not as good as Harvey's, but it's been better than the rest of them. Yeah, seven point eight. Very good poutine at Church's Chicken. All right, I lied. I'm gonna have one of the biscuits now. Oh, Church's Chicken. I haven't had a biscuit from you in so long. Crunchy and buttery on the outside, warm and moist on the inside. Sorry for the wait, I'm gonna help you. No worries, I'll just get an order of poutine, please. Poutine, anything else for you? That'll be it. Come to me, Thanks.
675, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I am no stranger to the Burger King poutine. Um, I've had it a bunch of times in the past. So in Canada, the drinking age is 19. So I would come to Canada and we would go to the bars. And then afterwards, Burger King would be open and we'd get some poutine and eat it. And then we'd go home. So I've had this, but it's been about 20 years since I've had this. Let's see how this is. The Burger King poutine. And there you go, the crispy golden fries of Burger King, smothered in cheese and gravy. Smells really good. They fill this right up to the top. Let's give this a try. The Burger King poutine. This was a late night snack for my friends and I. We ate this quite a bit. Mmm. Just as good as I remember. It's really good. The fries are golden and crispy. The, the gravy, gravy's a little on the salty side. The cheese is really good. Um, Burger King actually does this one really, really well. If you're, if you're in Canada and you have Burger King, check out their poutine. Nostalgia could be playing a factor here because this just has a very familiar taste to me. But I really, really like this poutine. It's really good. That being said, it's getting the highest score of the day so far. 8.3. Burger King's poutine. Their fries are crispy. The cheese, plentiful and delicious. And look, look how it melts. The gravy is very good. Do I don't think I like the gravy as much as I like the gravy at Harvey's. But I like the fries better. I like the cheese better. Everything overall better at Burger King. Burger King is the leader of the day. We have um, one or two more places to check out. So this is actually working out. There is a Wendy's right next door to the A&W. It was meant to be, kids. It was meant to be. I'll do the A&W first, and then I'll do the Wendy's, and then we will finish this one out. I also want to point out the way the A&Ws are designed here in Canada. Pretty friggin' awesome looking, aren't they? So, the A&W restaurants in Canada are different than the ones in the United States. They are their own company. I've honestly, I think the burgers in the United States A&Ws are better but they are their own thing and they look really cool and I'm gonna try the poutine. Hey, sorry, by the way, what can I get for you? Hi, I'll just get an order of poutine, please. Just one order of poutine? Yeah. Okay, anything else? That'll be it. That's all? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so your total is 6.45, please drive up. I've had some people surprised that all I'm ordering is poutine, but today is poutine. Hi, it's 645, please. Where's this going? Here? Oh, tap. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. That makes it easy. And there you go. Great. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna go to Wendy's since it's right next door. So this is a Wendy's slash Tim Hortons, which I did not know was a thing. I am so full right now, guys. <laughs> 
but two more to go. A&W. Well, Wendy's doesn't have Wendy on the bag, but this is Wendy's. Do the A&W first. More cardboard. They gave me two of them at least, but cardboard forks. Actually, these are wooden forks. Well, no, nah, they're cardboard. <laughs> they're a little harder cardboard than the McDonald's ones. Grass-fed beef. What the hell we got in here? No, it's poutine. I'll give you a shot of the poutine. Look at that. That one looks really good. Okay. Time for the A&W poutine. Here we go. First bite of the A&W. Kind of a watery gravy. Um, fries are all soggy. They smothered the fries in the gravy, though. That's to be expected. Mmm. The A&W gravy is really good. I like it. I know I'm having some difficulty with the cardboard fork. Yeah, this one's good. This one's really good. I really like their gravy. I just wish there was a little more cheese. Not a whole lot of cheese going on here. Still really good. I'm going to give A&W a 7.9. It's uh, I think it's really good. These are good poutine fries. They hold they hold up really well. I really like the gravy at A&W. It's a very tasty gravy. Um maybe it's beef gravy. Maybe that's maybe the the sticker for the all fed beef is for the gravy. I don't know. Um but it's really good. And last but not least is the Wendy's poutine. Um, so I saw, I actually, this was the only one I physically saw how they make the poutine because I was inside and they did it right in front of me. So they just took an order of fries, right? It was, these weren't pre made, like they weren't like in the packaging, like in the back or anything. So that's good to know. I have to imagine this is how they all are. They took a fresh order of fries. And then they dumped gravy in it and threw some cheese curds on top of it. And I know that's like, that's what poutine is, but it was just nice to see them assemble it in front of me. Cause I hadn't, I had been going all day, all day. And I hadn't seen it assembled in front of me. Uh, I went inside Popeye's, I went inside churches, wasn't assembled in front of me. Um, they were already like made and in, in, in the back, uh, ready, ready to go. They were like in a warming tray. This was assembled in front of me. It was cool to see. Uh, so shout out to Wendy's for like doing that. Um, that being said, so I was in there, right? And there was a family and, and they ordered two kids meals for their kids. And then the guy, like the father, like brought the toys up. And he's like, we don't do Scooby-Doo. And he like refused to accept the toys. And I, I just, that was just odd to me. That was just really weird. Like, we don't do Scooby-Doo. That's going to be... So, here's what's going on. There's a new Scooby-Doo out on HBO, and it's like an adult series, and they've reimagined the, the Scooby-Doo characters. That's not what was in these kids' meals. These were the like the, the regular Scooby-Doo characters. But I feel like there's so much outrage over that Scooby-Doo show that people are just like up in arms against Scooby-Doo for being woke. It's it's not it's just a different take on Scooby-Doo, guys. Everyone needs to relax. Um that's my little rant. Just like if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. I I'm not watching and I don't really care, but like I'm not going to make a big deal about Scooby-Doo how there's a black Shaggy and a brown Velma and I don't care. I don't care, guys. I'm just not going to watch it. And it's not and I'm not going to watch it just because I I don't have time to watch stuff. Like I don't care. But like whatever. It's not worth getting upset over like this guy inside at Wendy's got upset over. It was it was pretty epic. I wish I was I was videotaping 
uh, in there, but it was like, it was in progress as I was walking in. So I missed, I missed it. So, um, but anyway, time for the Wendy's poutine. And there's the Wendy's poutine. Oh uh, yeah. I, I have a feeling this Wendy's poutine is not going to score very high. <laughs> I'm just looking at it. It looks pretty sad now that I like have actually taken the cover off and looked at it. Wendy's also has pretty lousy French fries to begin with. I can't imagine. And, and Wendy's gives you a plastic fork, by the way. Um, yeah, I can't imagine this is going to be any good. Here we go. Not the worst poutine I've had today. I think that honor went to Arby's. If I'm not mistaken, I'll, I'll put the scoreboard up at the end, but yeah, this isn't really that great either, but it's not, it's not bad. Um, if you're at Wendy's and you want poutine, you're going to get this and it's not going to, it's not going to let you down. If you like Wendy's fries, you're going to be cool with this. I don't like Wendy's fries. I think they suck. Uh, so this poutine, 6.9 for me. Not, not bad. It's not bad, but it's, uh, you know, it's Wendy's fries and Wendy's fries aren't very good. So there you have it. There's the poutine. Here's the leaderboard on the screen. Burger King is the big winner of the poutine today. Uh, the poutine fast food wars, followed by Harvey's at number two. And all the rest are down below. Let me know in the comments, did I get it right? What's your favorite fast food poutine? So other some of the fast food places had like a different kind of poutine. Like Burger King had an angry poutine. And some of them had other things that they put in the poutine. I just went with the regular poutine just to, you know, make it an even slate across the board. But you guys let me know, is there a special poutine at one of these places I should have tried? Maybe I'll try it on the next time I, I come up to Canada. It's going to be a long time before I eat poutine again, guys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. I put out videos pretty regularly. Once again, thank you for watching. Rock on!